slow YouTube. Just picked up this D104 today at the flea market for five dollars. And this is actually the way it can parts and pieces in a box and this is pretty rough condition. Got some pieces broke. We'll have the plugs in there for the head goes down in there. And the element looks really, really bad. But I've seen them worse than that and still work. We might try it just for the heck of it. Um I had to do a little wiring on the inside. Been fooled with before. Power main power was in the wrong place. A couple of the mic wires were off in the mic and on the mic end. You can see the base is in really rough condition as well. It looks like it's almost down to the bare metal. Well, just rough, but you know, five dollars, what do you expect? A little bit of paint, a little bit of primer. Definitely a new mic cord. That's this is going to be a before and after video. We need to order a few parts. It may be a while before we get this uploading. The actual base of the mic does work. I tried it with a different head, like I say, and got some good reports. But we'll see what we can do here. Even the base of it's been painted and monkeyed with. Really, really abused microphone. Well, that's what we got. We'll give her a try. Put this video together and get her uploaded for everybody to watch. Alrighty. That's about it. I thank you for watching. Okay, we're back. Got the mic disassembled. That ran across the buffing wheel with some jeweler's rouge. I took all that old smoke stain and everything, all the dirtiness off. I think it turned out pretty good to look as rough as it did. I've got the rest of the mic sanded and under one coat of primer. I'll show it to you in just a second. Show you what kind of paint I'm going to use. Alright. Come downstairs. We'll be right Okay, here. here's our base. Got one coat of primer on it. it sanded up real nice, of course. It was about down to the bare metal anyway, so it didn't take a whole lot of effort. Uh, I'm using a plastic coat, sandable primer. I'll put about two coats of that on. I want to use use this on several mics. Uh, this is the Rust-Oleum Hammered Spray Paint. Tell about the lid what kind of texture it gives you. It really looks really good on these older mics. Um, I generally don't paint a microphone unless it's in shape like this one was down to the bare metal. You know, and it was five dollar mic anyway. But that's what we're going to do, and I'll show you as soon as I get a couple of coats on, get it dry. Okay, we're back. It's got the last coat of paint on our stand here. I don't know if you can see, I like to have some more light, and it creates just a really, really nice finish. Not quite original, but it does look good. Got two coats of primer, two coats of paint. Maybe that'll hold up and probably be sitting on the shelf anyway. But in part two of this video, I'll go through and reassemble the microphone and test it out on there and see how she does. Well, thank you for watching.